Hello everyone, my name is Khadija Misri, PhD student from Kati Ayyad University. And today, I'm very happy to present my work entitled PV Power Production based on Artificial and Rural Network Optimized by Genetic Algorithm. We will start this presentation with introduction, then problematic, then PV Power Production results, and finally conclusion. Nowadays, PV technology has a range of applications. However, several problems have to be resolved in order to integrate in an optimal way this technology into power grids on a large scale. One of these difficulties is prediction accurately the PV power output over the next hours or days. It is in this context that our research study takes place the prediction of the PV power with the artificial neural network optimized using genetic algorithm. As you know, PV power measurement in a specific period and a specific location are very important for designing and supervising PV systems. However, in most cases, these measures are absent. The main goal of this study is to give for PV system engineers an efficient model uh, based on artificial no uh, network, neural network and meteorological data to predict the output power of PV systems. Now we move to PV power production results. The first step in this study is modeling PV system which is able to calculate PV power based on meteorological data. In this case, we are using the irradiance and temperature values of Agadir city, where 70% of database is used to train in the model's parameters and 30% is used for validation. We are using two artificial intelligence methods. The first one is the artificial neural network, which is used for predicting the PV power. Uh, and in this case, we, we are using two inputs, which are air temperature and solar irradiance. And it is uh, trained using LM optimizer. The second one is genetic algorithm, which is used to optimize the artificial neural network's architecture. In order to evaluate the performance and the currency of the, the developed model, two performance factors are used, which are the mean square error MSE and the correlation error. They are defined by the following formulas. Now we move to the results and discussion. This figure presents the results obtained from testing the artificial neural network for, for uh, 180 hours, four hours of a week. The graph shows clear, uh, clearly the similarity between real and predicted PV power values during the testing process. This figure shows the structure diagram, which demonstrates the high relationship between predicted and real PV power. The obtained value of correlation coefficient is 99.972% and the mean square error is 2.3091%. So from the obtained results, the developed model is able to accurately perf uh, perform the prediction of PV power. Consequently, this model is adequate and robust to predict efficiently the prediction of PV systems using meteorological data, especially air temperature and solar radiation. Hence, it is reliable to be adopted by electrical engineers to design or supervise the PV systems in case of missing values measurement. That's all and thank you so much for your attention.